courier from Spain. Will there be war? We'll soon know. The gates are closed. I bear a message from His Majesty King Philip of Spain to His Majesty Louis, King of all France. The courier from Spain. Open the gates. from Spain. Yes, I know. What will it be, war or peace? Neither for us, if the good King Louis should catch the charming Pompadour in my apartment. And since when does the gallant de Chand fear for his head? Not mine. This one. Much too pretty a head to be found rolling around in the bottom of a basket. But darling, yours would be there beside it. You think of everything, my dear Pompadour. Majesty. Your Majesty. Uh, uh, what is it? Sire, the courier from Spain. Come here, come here. What say the Spanish? Is it war? Not yet, sire. Then what is it? Speak, man, speak. King Philip feels that the forces who fan the flames of hatred toward France can still be thwarted. But how, how? An alliance based on royal marriage. Royal marriage? Yes, sire. Between Maria, Princess of Spain, and a French nobleman of your choosing. Mm. What do you think, Damo? Philip is shrewd, sire. He knows the Spanish. The right marriage might well stir their romantic imagination and avert war. Yes, yes, quite true, quite true. But we must be careful. We must choose the proper man. You, courier, refresh yourself. I shall send for you. Yes, Damo, we must choose the proper man. <laughs> Someone handsome, dashing, clever. One whose wit and charm would captivate the Spanish court. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, sire, the Duc de Chant. Who else? <laughs> Brilliant stroke, sire. Brilliant. Obvious choice to rid the court of his fiery temper and quick blade to say nothing of considerable romantic competition. <laughs> the young blood should be duly grateful, eh, Damon? Not to mention a few of the older ones, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't wonder. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, nothing, sir, nothing. Except uh, I noticed the charming newcomer, Madame de Pompadour, favor him with a smile. A smile? A smile? What's a smile? She did. But what matter, sir? After all, he leaves in a few days. A few days. He leaves tonight. Send the courier back to Spain. Tell Philip his daughter Maria weds the darling of the French court. Bon viva. Swordsman extraordinaire. Prince of the blood. Our adored Duke de Chand. Very well, sir. Inform de Chand, the queen, the ministers. Spread the news. This is a big night, and all France must celebrate. Good heavens, get my barber. Summon Monsieur Beaucaire. Summon Monsieur Beaucaire. Monsieur Beaucaire, Monsieur Beaucaire, Monsieur Beaucaire, Monsieur Beaucaire, Monsieur Beaucaire, Monsieur Beaucaire. Where is he? In the chambermaid's room. Thank you very much. Ch chambermaid? Oh. Go away, Mimi. Don't try to stop me. You've broken my heart for the last time. You're now gazing at a Frenchman who is not afraid to die for love. Look here, stop! Don't try to stop me, Mimi. Don't. Oh, it's you. Talk to me later. I'm killing myself. Look here, you can't. You can't kill yourself. Why not? The king wants to shave. Tell him I'm tied up. Oh, the king? Oh, that's different. Oh. <laughs> Hey, you didn't tie the rope. I was going to take a couple of practice swings. Oh, I see. My dear Bocaire, why do you want to kill yourself? You with so much to live for. It's Mimi. Mimi? 
Why should he be upset over a little scullery maid? Scullery maid? She's the king's new chambermaid. She promoted herself upstairs. Well, what of it? She can promote herself upstairs. She can promote herself upstairs. Maybe not. You don't know Mimi. She's ambitious to be somebody for years. She's been determined to get upstairs. Oh, perhaps she wants to enlarge her mind. No, her mind's large enough, and the rest of her doesn't need any improvement. Well, then what's worrying you? It's the king. After all, he's got the power to... He's the king. Look here, I'm surprised. You know, a chambermaid doesn't seek to attract the king's eye unless she wants to. That's right, not unless she wants to. Well? She wants to. Are you certain? I'm positive. I threw myself at her feet, told her if she went through with this, I'd hang myself. And what did she do? Loan me the rope. <gasps> Mm. Well, okay. My poor, poor friend, you were right. You must kill yourself. Yeah. Well. Huh? You were right, absolutely right. Well, you could argue with me a little. I. Okay, think. You're a Frenchman, yes? Yes. A man of honor, yes? Yes. You lost your sweetheart, yes? Yes. Then you must kill yourself, no? No. Well, that's settled. I gotta get to work. Mimi. Oh, are you still alive? Tell the king I'll be right up. Mimi, you're making a mistake, a big mistake. I have nothing further to say, Beaucaire. Well, I won't let you do it. You won't let me do it. Out of my way, Barbara. Pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? What makes you think the king will look at you twice? He won't have to. Once will be enough. Mimi, do you realize what you're doing, turning me down? And for what? A king. Mimi, I've got a future. I'm only a little barber now, but someday I'll have a shop of my own with two chairs, three chairs, maybe even four. And what has the king got? One chair. But look what's on it. Yeah, and another thing. What about those other women upstairs? They'll see through your tricky schemes. In this palace, it's every woman for herself. Dog eat dog. Let's leave the queen out of this. Where is that bouquet? My dear Monsieur Beaucaire, I am now going in to prepare the Queen's bath. And while the Queen is taking her bath, who knows, I may get to meet the King. Farewell, Barber. Mimi, I'm warning you, if you go through with this, you'll never see me again. Have you thought about that? Well? 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 I guess you've thought about it. Wait. Okay. Gentlemen, I didn't call you in to ask your opinion. I called you in to give you my decision. Beaucaire, you clumsy oh. idiot. Oh, there you are. Oh, oh. Sorry, sir. Sorry. But to send the Duc de Chambre, a dandy, a popinjay, whose experience in court diplomacy is limited to, to courting. Exactly. Are you quite true, gentlemen? For if you are, Beaucaire... What is the matter with oh, you I'm tonight? Sorry, sir. I, I, oh, I'm sorry. It's Mimi. I'm Mimi? Yes. Who's Mimi? Oh, uh, your girl. <laughs> I mean, my girl. That is, uh, she's our girl. <laughs> Gets around, doesn't she? Man, what are you jabbering about? Mimi, may I talk to you about her sire? Certainly not. Now, gentlemen, let's finish with this discussion. The Duke de Chant goes to Spain, and he goes tonight. Who's Mimi? Well, she's been downstairs now. She's upstairs. Never Did mind. You... Now, here's the queen. Louis, what's this I hear of de Chant going to Spain? Quite true, quite true. What about it? Nothing. I just wondered why, of all our very talented young men, you chose de Chant. Why not? Royal blood, best swordsman in the land. And I understand from certain sources that he's very attractive to the ladies. Hey, Barbara. Oh, yes, sire, very attractive. But he doesn't even speak Spanish. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll make himself understood. Shut up, you idiot. He didn't say anything. I said shut up. My dear, please. Remember, we never display anger in front of our cabinet. Anger is the effort of a limited mind to express itself. Now shut up, you idiot, and powder my wig. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I was only repeating what Mimi told me. Who is this? Oh, oh. <coughs> oh. Okay, you'll answer for this. And once and for all, who is this Mimi? My girl, sire. She dreams of position, power. Why, she'd like to influence the king like Madame Pompadour. 
And who says Madame Pompadour influences the king? Oh, everybody knows that. It's all over. It's, it's... Or don't they? Louis, I shall talk to you later. My dear, wait, please. You mustn't misunderstand. You see... I said later and alone. Beaucaire! You blundering nincompoop! Get out of this palace. If I so much as see you again, I'll have your head. Yes, sire. Thank you, sire. As for that other matter, this all leaves for Spain tonight! I guess I caught him in a bad humor. think he is to talk to me that way. After all, I'm not dirt. I'm a man. Well, sort of. What makes him so special anyway? A ring, a wig, some robes, and a few soldiers. <laughs> After all, anyone can be king. Happens to be where you get born, that's all. I could be king. But I'd make a good king, too. Oh, Liverlip never looked this good. Bouquet, you jabbering nincompoop. Have your head. Have my head. But it won't look good on him either. Boy, if I were king around here, things would be different. I wouldn't go around cutting off everybody's head and taking away everybody's girl. Well, I wouldn't go around cutting off everybody's head. Him and his mass. Got a mass for day and a mass for night. Even got a mass for sleeping. I don't blame him. If I had a face like him, I'd keep it confidential too. Don't shoot. Oh. oh, pardon me, Your Majesty. Approach me. Approach me. Hmm, pretty little wench. Thank you, sir. Rise, child, rise. Haven't I seen you about the palace? I hardly dared that my sire would notice me. Oh, but of course. You're the little wench who's been seen around with Beaucaire the barber. Splendid chap, Beaucaire, and so handsome. Beaucaire? Handsome? Just don't see how one man can get that handsome. Believe me, sire, there's nothing between myself and Beaucaire. Nothing? You call that nothing? The way you kissed him at the scullery maid's ball, behind the onion sacks. Sire, you know of that? My child, the king's eyes are everywhere. Oh. But your majesty, I did not come here to discuss Beaucaire, handsome though he may be and... Charming, witty, clever. And I happen to know that you've shown more than a casual interest in him. <laughs> I'll admit, sire, that for a barber, he's very amusing and, well, rather sweet. But after all, Beaucaire is a man. And I'm not interested in men, mortal men. My interest is France. What do you mean? Sire, I am a patriot. I love France. And to me, sire, you are France. All of France. Oh, it's just the way the robe fits. <laughs> it's just strictly for lounging. Oh, what a moment to be alone with France, to see France, to hear France, to touch France. Do you know what a moment this is for a woman? It's not so bad for France, either. Don't think of me as a woman. Think of me as the people of France. I'd rather think of you as a woman in such a small room.
That, sire, was for France. Now let's have one for the colonies. Louis! Oh, the Queen! Oh, Your Majesty, don't misunderstand. I'm sure I shan't. I never do, do I, Louis? I was just telling His Majesty of my patriotism. These are perilous times, child. Patriotism is not bought cheaply. Come, I will see you are amply rewarded. This is not my day. God! God! Your Majesty. Escort this wench to the Spanish border. Spain? Oh, but your Majesty. And if ever you set foot in France again, I'll have your head. Take her away. Spain? Oh, no. Why, that's the king. Then who... who care? Revenge! I swear, revenge! Madame Pompadour, I'm here. But your I majesty... said, tell her. But, sire. Duke de Chand. We'll see about that. Perhaps if I intervene with the king. It's no use. I'm ordered to leave within the hour. Farewell, de Chand. The king. She was just wishing me a safe journey, Your Majesty. Oh, you grace, you've got to take me to Spain. Beaucaire! Yeah. Well, what are you doing in the king's robe? Oh, I had a chill. Please take me to Spain. Out of the question. I know I shouldn't presume or Get impose. Get out of here! You know how things are around here. Can't you do something with them? Get out! I know, but it's a matter of life and death. But I can serve you, serve you well. Now, please, here, please. Oh. Uh oh. King's coming. Oh, please. Please take me. You don't know what this means to me. Mimi's gone to Spain and I've got to go too. Oh, heads if we're caught together. Please, I'll be your lackey. I'll be your lackey's lackey. There must be a way out. I'll do your laces, your undies. I'll fix the runs in your stock. Could fight it out. I'll bring you breakfast in bed. No, not the king. Think fast. We've got to do something. I'll keep you trim. I'll scratch your back. I'll scratch yours too. I'll cut your hair. I'll shave you. Oh, please, tell him. Shave. Please. Shave. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Immediately. Out of these clothes. With hair that I can never Come on over yeah. here. Are you there, Deshaunt? Coming, sire. One moment, sire. You're next. All right, let him in. Let Hold this, Grace. Your Grace. Good evening, Deshaun. Shaving at this hour? Uh, yes, Your Majesty. You see, I... It was my that. idea, sire. You, Barber! Yes, sire. I was rather under the impression that you were no longer with us. Oh, I'm leaving. I'm practically gone. I'll be out of here before you can say Madame Pompadour. Uh, uh, just a final shave, Your Majesty. Uh, a good man, this book here. Uh, what's this? Familiar scent. And the lace so delicate, so feminine. Anyone we know? Oh, I have no idea, Your Majesty. Uh, that is, I... It's I, mine, I, Your Majesty. Yours? I, I carry one for show and one for blow. Delightful scent, isn't it? I wouldn't give two cents for those other scents. Comes all the way from France. This is France! Yeah, small world. This farce begins to bore me. I reason to suspect someone is hiding in your apartment, Deshaun. Should I chance to find her? I'm afraid I shall have your head. And yours, too. Naturally. Two heads are always better than one. Sire, to entertain such thoughts is madness. There's no one in there. We shall see. Psst. Oh, this is horrible. You, I'm so worried. Stop worrying. I'll tell you when it's time to worry. It's time. Strange. I could have sworn you had a visitor. But a man can be wrong about a woman. Yes, very wrong. My apologies, Deshaun. As for you, Barbara, one word of this... And Heaven forbid, sire, that these lips should ever suggest that Madame Pompadour need hide behind a draper beneath the bed. 
Bad. Aha. Where is she? <laughs> Quick, the balcony. Oh, 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 the way. The other one? Oh, back in the chair. Quick. Who's in there with you? No one there. Well, perhaps I've been a trifle hasty. But I suppose that happens to the best of us, eh, Deshaun? There's no reasoning with the green-eyed serpent of jealousy, is the lad? Well, what's the matter with you? Lost your tongue? Soap. Soap. Well, my apologies again, Deshaun. And Barbara, I needn't warn you that one oh, word... Oh, breathe easily, sire. These loyal lips of mine will never hint that there's a royal skeleton in the family closet. The closet? Of course. Excellent. I had to open my big mouth. Hey. Here we go again. I'm caught. Huh? You're what? None of us are too loose. Breathe in. He's pond too. Too late. Here he comes. Breathe out. Duck, Duke. Take the upper. Not there. Deshaun, I'm a fool. An old jealous fool. That's quite all right, sire. Can you forgive me? It's all forgotten, sire. Yeah, let's forget it. Let me have your hand on it. Well, I must away. Remember, Barbara. Louis! All right, Louis, stop talking. Unless you intend to make more of a fool of me than you have done already. What? What's this nonsense? So it's nonsense for the Queen of France to come upon the King of France, petting and kissing a little scullery maid. Chambermaid. Quite right. Chambermaid. Furthermore... How did you know? Oh, you know how those things whip around the palace in one keyhole and out the other? Oh, what a disgrace! The whole court must be laughing, you and that wench. Wench? What wench? I haven't seen any wench. Then I suppose, my dear Louis, Somebody else was in your room, wearing your robe and your mask and your ring. Ring? What ring? You know, your turquoise ring. The one that looks like... Like that! Oh, oh we must... we must go to the same jewelers. It, it does look like yours. <laughs> it, it is mine. Knew she wasn't a scullery maid, eh? Oh, mercy, your majesty, mercy. Why did you do it, knave? Oh, to save her, sire. Save her from what? You, sire. There, you see. Impersonate royalty with you, you lying scoundrel! Oh, please. Guards! Your majesty. Guards! Seize that barber. Take him to guillotine and cut off his head in the morning. Oh, farewell, your grace. When you get to Spain, look up Mimi. Tell Mimi I'm sorry. Mimi? <laughs> Who is Mimi? The little girl who'd like to be like Madame Pompadour. Oh! Chop off his head tonight! This will teach me a lesson. What a way to die. Be brave, my friend. You wanted to go anyway. But like a man, not like a salami. Cut it. They come for you now. Yeah, come on. Can't we put this off a while? I think I'm getting a sore throat. Let's quick, get into these clothes. Huh? Huh? Uh huh? Goodbye to the king. No, he'll recognize it. Not from here. Goodbye, Your Majesty. Why don't you fall off there and break your big fat neck? Good luck. <laughs> Good riddance. <laughs> oh, the queen. Goodbye, old prune face. Climb back on your broom. Charming boy. What's he doing in those clothes? I'll tell you later, Captain. I will not get him. I won't be a
Bon voyage! Bon voyage! Bon... So they've chosen the illustrious Duc de Chambre, eh? Yes, General. Quite a choice. We of Spain should be highly flattered, gentlemen. And our lovely Princess Maria? Has already left the Swiss convent, traveling incognito. By now, she should be well across France. Oh. And if the unfortunate young lady were to die on French soil, who but the French could be held responsible, eh? <laughs> There's only one answer our stupid king could give. You mean war? What else? During a war, anything can happen. Thrones can topple. One of determination and vision might seize the reins and rule Spain. It will be done, General. I didn't question it. I have a great capacity for gratitude, amigos. I shall remember you. How tragic that one so young and lovely as our Princess Maria must die. Hmm? Dona Clara, what do you suppose he's like? Handsome, gay, kind. He's probably a very nice young man. Of course he won't be. He'll be rich and fat and bald with as many chins as he has chateaus. You mustn't think of these things. I know, I know. This is a marriage of political expedience. And you are the princess of Spain. I am also a woman. But first, you are the princess of Spain. Is it going to take all day to fix that harness? I'm doing the best I can, sir, with what I have to work with. Well, then hurry up. We don't want to spend the night here. More delays. What a journey. Broken harness, miserable heat, dust. And on top of it, this preposterous boss grade. Deshaun, I insist on your getting out of those clothes immediately. I've told you, Doma, I shall change when we approach the Spanish border, not before. At the moment, it's quite too hot and I'm quite too comfortable. Hmm. Quite. Do you have a spare thong? I think so. Look under the seat, Chico. You. Drive on. But, madam, the harness is broken. I said drive on. They'll be back. I'm not waiting. Drive around, hitch one of those horses. Or make it two. May I remind you, my dear Deshaun, that you're supposed to be a bridegroom en route to your marriage. An event I can hardly anticipate with Reddish, particularly to a woman I've never even seen. Yeah, for all he knows, she may be a big, fat, flabby, to... rather attractive type of woman. Shut up! Yes, sir. And may I further remind you that I am being held responsible for the success of the marriage ceremony. And I assure you, I don't intend to fail. Handsome, wasn't he? The princess of Spain does not bestow her smiles upon a stranger, especially a commoner. Commoner or nobleman. The forces that will prevent your marriage are desperate and will stop at nothing. We shall proceed seeing no one, speaking to no one. Being attacked. Come 
after them. He was your head man, making the board. No risk. Yeah, that's right. No risk. You speak of risk to the Duke of Shang? Yeah, what's the matter with you? But there are six of them. Yeah, six of them. Three for each of you. Hurry. Six or six hundred. What does it matter? Yeah, what's the matter? Go on. Help him. Who, me? Yes, you. You're a man. You've got blood in your veins. Yeah, and I want to keep it there. It's the squirty kind. I'll... Go on, man. Help him. Well, let him get a man. I'll cut in later. Go on. Yeah, well, you got to warm up to these. Go. Hulk. Sorry he got away. Come back and fight, you coward! He was the finest swordsman of the lot. Yeah. Go ahead, you coward. Lucky for him, he got away when he did. One of them's still kicking. Get in there. Oh, he's dead. Oh, then I don't blame him for kicking. There's nothing more to worry about, Your Grace. My Grace? My Grace? Oh, my gracious. Well done, my good man. Well done. Remind me to reward you handsomely with a goat skin full of uh, goats or something. Thank you, Your Grace. And our thanks, too, for coming to our rescue. Oh, it's nothing. It's just every day. Who's there? Well, I must run along now and sharpen my sword. You can never tell where we meet more of these cads. Don't be long, my good man. Your Grace. I'm afraid you have no driver. Would you grant me the privilege of driving you to your destination? You are most kind. Thank you. We'll manage. Well, Madame, we are alone and must travel by night. This gentleman is being most considerate. Well, if your master will permit. I think I might persuade him. Yeah. Watch that next one. It's not there. Don't bother to come across, Darmal. I'm leaving. Oh, thank you. Heaven, you're safe. Huh? I'm driving the ladies to their destination. Oh, we are? I forbid it. I absolutely forbid it. I've had enough of this nonsense. He calls it nonsense. Oh, don't worry, Darmon. I'll meet you at the tavern on the Spanish border. But the son, the Spanish party, and welcome will be there, expecting to meet the Duke. I said I'd be there. Yeah, we'll be there. Not you. Selfish. Come back! Come back! This is treason. Stop him, do you hear? Stop him! I'm mad at him. He's making a fool of me, do you understand? A fool! Who's arguing? Jean! Imagine him doing this to me. Me too. Do you realize what this means? Supposing he arrives late. Supposing he doesn't arrive at all. I'm not going to put up with it. I won't. I'm not going to risk my head for one of his silly escapades. I won't stand for it. You understand? I... Hmm. Hmm. What's going on behind that hmm? It might work at that. What might work at what? Your grace. Oh, no, you don't. Not me. No, I just came along for the ride and to find Mimi. You must. Not me. It means war. Well, let him start shooting, but I'm not going around impersonating any dukes. Especially Deshaun. He fights duels. A fellow can get sliced up that way. On the contrary, Your Grace. The Spanish are a warm, affectionate people. Far more interested in the duke's other reputation. Well, good luck. Other reputation? Mm-hmm. He's considered quite a prize among the ladies. Yeah, that's right. Women. Yeah. Hundreds of them throwing themselves at me, pawing me, mauling me. Half Nelsons, hammerlocks. I... Oh, no, you don't. You almost had me going, but I'm not impersonating any royalty. No more. I nearly got my head chopped off doing that. Sorry, you'll have to use the old duke. Oh, very well. I won't urge you. Well, now you're talking. I'll send you back to Paris. Now you're talking. And the guillotine. Now you're... T you're talking to the new duke. When I took her riding 
riding on Monday, riding on Monday, riding on a Monday. She said, no, sir, riding on Monday in the coach and four. Then I took her riding on Tuesday, riding on Tuesday, riding on a Tuesday. She came closer riding on Tuesday than she was before. Wednesday, she resisted. Thursday, I insisted. Day after day, I'd pray she'd say, si, si, senor. So I brought her riding on Sunday, riding on Sunday, riding on a Sunday. And I taught her riding on Sunday, love as a lovely lord. Then I found her right beside me, and I held her tight beside me. There was such a light inside me, in the coach and four, in the coach and four. Sleep? Yes. I'm glad my singing didn't have the same effect on you. <laughs> it was very nice. What's your name? What does it matter? A lack is called by many names. But your speech, your swordsmanship, your bearing, it's more fitting one of gentle even of royal birth. Don't let's speak of royalty. I hate them. I, too, have no love for them. The things they do to people like you and me. Let's forget them, shall we? Forgive me. I didn't want you to fall off. The road's much bumpier from here on. Somehow, I always knew it would be like this. Suddenly, without names, without warning. What shame! Stop the coach! Come down at once! Stay the night. Make arrangements. Yes, madam. You. At midnight, when he's asleep, will you drive us to Madrid? Madrid? But, senor... For a hundred pieces of gold? Oh, oh, senora. Doña Clara, please, may I not even say goodbye? You will leave a note. It'll be easier that way. Mimi. 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 Stay out of my dreams, will you? So, you let her get away, amigo. General, it could not be helped. Some madman with a sword slashed us to ribbons. I was lucky to get away with my life. Were you, amigo? Yes, General, very lucky. Hmm. Take him out. See if his luck continues. But, General, I have been loyal, a friend. You may be certain, amigo, that I shall always think of you tenderly. Out! There is nothing to stop the wedding now. Takes two to make a marriage, Captain. And the bridegroom arrives this afternoon. The Chandre. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, wouldn't it be a most unhappy circumstance if His Grace 
could meet with an accident during his stay in Spain. Hmm? Shall we say tonight? It might not be easy. They say he's the finest swordsman in France. Hardly the finest without his sword. Do you have a plan? Not at the moment, but you may be sure by the time come his on, grace come arrives. Come on, you cannot stay in Spain. You have no passport. Let me go. Please let me go. If you send me back, it means my death. It's been ordered by the Queen herself. My dear young lady, that is no concern of ours. Come along. Have her sent to me at once. We arrive at the tavern in a moment. If he's not there, for heaven's sake, remember you're dressed like a duke. Try and behave like a duke. When you're expected to bow, bow. When you're expected to smile, smile. Yes, sir. And if you're challenged to a duel, I run. You see, my dear, uh, Mimi, was it? You see, my dear Mimi, I'm fully aware of the unjust treatment you received at the hands of the French. General is most understanding. Yes, of course, my dear. And I assure you, most appreciative of the efforts of his friends. Just what does the general have in mind? Oh, a trifle. For a lady of your obvious accomplishments. Merely that when my men pay their respect to the Duke tonight, his sword shall be unavailable. Murder? Murder? No, no, no. <laughs> Who speaks of murder, my dear child? A simple abduction, just to delay the wedding for a day or two. But doesn't that mean war? War? What an ugly thought for such a charming head, when it might be thinking of uh, a reward. For instance, a chateau in Barcelona, or uh, perhaps a palace in Madrid. <laughs> Take him out of the pots. Thanks, you lovely peasants. Small crowd. Control yourself. I know it's hard, but try. The strutting peacock. I can't believe it. You can't believe what? That I'm going to have a chateau. <laughs> My little Mimi, I won't forget that. Neither will the Duke. Say, why am I shaving you? I'm the boy they're waiting for down there. Did you see all that femininity? Acres and acres of it. Boy, what grazing. They happen to be waiting for the Duc de Champ. Yeah. Say, maybe that's him. His Excellency, the Commanding General of the Spanish Army. Don Francisco Miguel Carlos Altamira de los Monteros y Canseco, de la Torre, de la Vega, del Palacio, del Castillo, de los Ríos, García, González, Rocamora y Andrade de la Serna. Must have brought the army with him. Show him in. The most powerful man in Spain. Quick, put your coat on. Understand now? I'll do all the talking, you understand? Okay. You just do the bowing. Yes. Keep wrong coat. Yes, what's up the wrong coat? Oh. Yeah. Ah, that's better. Well, yeah. Something missing here. Well, of course, I am. Yeah. Your Grace, we greet you in the name of Spain. Your Excellency, we greet you in the name of France. Hmm. I uh, trust Your Grace had a pleasant trip. Oh, I had a very good carriage. My grace was very comfortable. <laughs> His grace is jesting. It was the most tiresome and dusty journey. His grace is really most fatigued. I feel a little tired, too. A condition easily remedied. I've taken the liberty of ordering dinner. Exciting dishes to tempt the palate. Oh, well, I'm not exactly hungry. I... Wines to stimulate your senses? 
not thirsty. And uh, after dinner, something to please your grace's discerning eye. Well, let's start with the dessert. Shall we go? You may come too, if you like. Thank you, your grace. After you? After you? No, you know, after you, you. After you? Uh, after you. It's good to see you. And you too, Beaucaire. Oh, oh, Mimi, gee, I, I never expected this. I thought you might even be angry with me. Angry with you? Whatever for? Well, you know, I kind of got you kicked out of France and everything. Oh, but you didn't mean to, did you? Uh-uh. It was just a mistake, a silly little mistake. That's right, a mistake. And we all make mistakes, don't we? Yeah, let's not stop now, huh? <laughs> What are you doing in the Duke's clothes? Oh, I was just taking his place for a while. You, you know the Duke. Uh, cherchez la femme? Thanks. Don't mind if I do. Well, so they chose you above all others to impersonate the irresistible Deschamps. That's right. Surprised? Not at all. I think the choice was obvious. <laughs> you really think so? Certainly. One can't hide quality in breeding. Yeah. When you got it, you got it. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh, you're so right. One look is enough. That regal forehead. Runs in the family. The Habsburg chin. Got that from my mother. The bourbon nose. Got that from my father. Drank like a fish. Those dark, flashing eyes. That soft, lustrous hair. You should see it after a rinse. Oh, Mimi, let's forget the past and settle down together right here in Spain. Just the two of us? That's the usual number, isn't it? I must admit, it's, uh, tempting. Tempting? Why, it's, uh, say it is tempting, isn't it? Oh, I can see it all now. Just you and I alone in a sweet little cottage. Yes, Mimi, and perhaps in a year or two. There'll be a little wail in the nursery. Well, personally, I'd rather have children. Oh, Beaucaire. Mimi. I wish you'd take that sword off. Oh, I can. I've got to look like the Duke. Always with his trusty blade. On guard. Zip. And he gets his man. And his women, too. I wonder how he does it. Oh, it's simple. All you have to do is hold it like that, extend it. On guard! Yeah, yeah that's right. Now, you feather brain powder duster. Mimi, Mimi, what's come over you, Mimi? Don't get excited. There, Mimi. Mr. Barber. That'll teach you to get people banished from France. Ouch! Mimi, I don't get it. You will. Mimi! Hiya, fellas. What is it, Halloween? Oh, look, look, put away that silverware. You get the floor all slippery. You'll pay for that. Look, it's all a mistake. You got the wrong boy. You wouldn't want an innocent man's blood on your hands, would you? Yeah, I guess you would. No, it's not there. Hey! Leave me alone, fellas. I 
tell you, you got the wrong man. Hey, where you been? Well, I explain later. It's all right. Hey, now, don't be afraid. We can handle them. Well done, my dear. Thank you, General. In a few seconds from now, our gallant friend will be no more. Murder? Oh, but General, you now, said... don't be naive, child. One city, you more or less. Oh, but General, it's all... Have at you, Violet. Have at you again. You're fencing with the master now. Take that, you swine. And that, and that. Aha! Gotcha, huh? That'll teach you, you scrounging cutthroat. Gang up on me, will you? Retire. Four down, two to go. <laughs> Whoop! That did it. Hold up! Your Grace, are you all right? Oh, it was nothing, just six of them and an evening sport. Took him a long time to fall. Four amateurs. That this should happen under my protection. Why, I promise an investigation. Say no more, my good man. The book is closed. Your Grace, you'll be guarded every moment from now on. I summon help to repair your suite. And clean up the debris here. Please. I didn't know they meant to kill you. I swear it. I give you my word. Your word. A sweet little cottage with a garden full of daisies and me under them. Oh, you must believe me. You must. Take your hands off me. I never want to see you again. Oh, listen to me, Beaucaire. Your life is in danger. You speak to me of danger, I say poof to danger. Double poof. Hey, how do you like that? Six guys trying to make a pin cushion on me. Come on, get out of those clothes. I've had enough of this. Why, Your Highness. Oh, don't Your Highness me, Your Highness. I want to be your lonus again. What's this? This is what you got me into. Dijon! Thank heaven you're here and safe. Now, come along. Get out of these things at once. I'm afraid not. You see, I'm en route to Madrid. Madrid? I must see her once more, if only to say goodbye. I forbid it. I absolutely forbid it. He absolutely forbids it. Shame on you to risk the lives of thousands of your countrymen, Mary, for the sake of a romantic caprice. Caprice? I've never loved like this before. Well, let's have a caprice later. Come on, Spy. Try. Get out of Take these down. Come you're not very bright tonight. No. Would you have your bridegroom killed? Those men weren't after him, they're after me. That's right. Yeah, you're darn right. That's why I'm getting out of these clothes. All right, my friend, go ahead. Change your clothes. Plunge your country into war. What do you mean? I didn't expect this of a clever fellow like you, Beaucaire. Me? What did I do? A man with a chance to outwit the sharpest minds in Spain. I have? How? Now, listen closely. I'm listening. One of us is a duke and one of us is a barber, right? Right. But they don't know which is which. Oh, the morons. If we change clothes now and they kill me, what have they got? The duke. But if we stay the way we are and let them kill you, what have they got? Nothing but a barber. I knew you'd see it. We stay the way we are. Good man. Viva the Duke. Viva the Duke. See you in Madrid. And good luck. Say, the Duke's a pretty smart fellow to figure a thing like that out. Now all they're going to kill is a crummy little barber. A barber. A barber. That's me. Long live the Duke. Long live the Duke. Oh, no. <laughs> Where's Maria? She will not come down, sire. What? Did you tell her the Duke has arrived? The Princess begs to inform you that out of loyalty to her countrymen, she will appear at the ceremony tomorrow and submit to marriage with the French Duke. Until then, she wishes to be alone. Stubborn child. Tell her of my displeasure. Don't let her out of your sight. Where is that, Deschamps? How can a man forsake the honor of his country for just a woman? How can he do it? How do you think I feel, waiting around here to get stabbed? What was that? Huh? Quick, put the wig on. Yeah. Paddy, thrust. Touche. Paddy, thrust. Lay there and bleed. Paddy. Is his grace ready to receive the king's emissary? Uh, no, his grace isn't quite ready. He'll require a few more moments. This is terrible. It's time for the presentation. What'll I do, Beaucaire? What'll I do? Oh, 
Don't look at me. You? Oh, no. Do you think for one moment I present you to the king? Yes, I do. <laughs> that would finish us. Yeah, especially me. I wouldn't present you to the lowest flea on the scurviest tail of the shaggiest mongrel of the show. No, not me. I... Oh, am I glad to see you. Your grace, thank heaven you're here. Now, there's no time to lose. You must get out of those rags immediately. Yeah, me too. No, no, no. He'll need the presentation suit. I've scarred the whole of Madrid, not a trace of her, as if the earth had swallowed her oh, up. Oh, forget her, sir. She's just another woman, just another hank of hair, a smile, a piece of lace, a dimple. I tell you, sir, women are all alike. Sensational. Oh, oh God! Oh, he's been a trial. Did you arrive in time, you're good. Deshaun! Deshaun! Huh? Oh, no, not again. Deshaun! Deshaun! Your Grace, where are you going? Don't worry, I'll be back. Oh, fine. Probably that girl again. The man's insane, risking everything for a woman's love. Can it be that important? How old are you? Looking for someone? You? Here? But how? No questions. I found you again, and that's all that matters. Oh, why did you come here? Because I love you. I was a fool. I should have come here before. I might have known you'd be here for the wedding. You might have known? Of course. Your mistress, a woman of her station, where else would she go but to the royal wedding? Yes, the royal wedding. We're not going to let this stupid display of pomp interfere with us, are we? I'm afraid I must go no, now. No, never. But my mistress, she'll be looking for I have a coach waiting. We'll leave tonight. Oh, no, no, that's impossible. Nothing's impossible if you love me. Oh, I do, I do. My mistress, oh, please go quickly. Meet me here at midnight. No, please go. Midnight? Yes, yes, only go. The king sent me sorry. The king will receive the duke now. Uh, yes. Uh, tell his majesty we're on our way. You bet we're on our way in the opposite direction. Come on. No. Hmm? Find the Duke. Bring him back. Bring him back at all costs. I'll try and delay the proceedings. Yeah, you delay the proceedings. I'll see you in about a month. Never thought I'd have a chance like this. Oh. <laughs> Announce his grace. Just passing through, and I thought I'd look for the powder room. I'd like to take the powder here. Uh. His grace, the Duke de Chaux. Did he say the Duke? Where? Oh, pardon me. The Duke? Where? Where'd you find him? I didn't you too. <laughs> they mean you. Be oh, careful. Yeah, well, uh, me. Oh, you're blowing your wig. Goodbye. We're trapped and you'll have to see it through. Yeah, well, I don't feel it. I'm bowing out of this. If you leave, you'll be cut in bits. And if I stay, bigger chunks. You have no choice. Again. Now remember. Oh, the darling of France. Yes. Prince of the blood. Here, use my lunette. It's court etiquette. 
was out to the king. Come. These things are for finding microbes. Is it raining in here? I can't see a thing in these glasses. You must do the best you can. You've got to use them. Is that what they sent us? Yes, Your Majesty. Be more aloof. Bored. Disdainful. A little more right nostril. You're near. Very amusing, my dear Deshaun. Thank you, Your Honor. I mean, Your Majesty. But then, Don Francisco has already warned me of your whimsical proclivities. Oh, Your Majesty, my whimsical proclivities are nothing much. They can't compare with my ludicrous ineptitudes. <laughs> so, this is the fabulous Duke Deshaun. The man whose cold steel and warm heart have captivated the continent. Too true, too... Too true. Your prowess with the sword. A thousand men killed. Tell me, how do you do it? Oh, it's nothing. Just a flick of the wrist. On guard. Harry, thrust. Two dozen roses to the widow. And uh, <coughs> these stories of these uh, <coughs> hundreds of women waiting for your kisses in every corner of France. How do you do that? I've got a fast horse. <coughs> To proceed, I regret, my boy, that Princess Maria is a trifle indisposed and cannot join this evening's celebration. But I assure you, she will be present at her own wedding tomorrow. That's fine. It's my first marriage, you know. I'd like to have all the trimmings. The minuet in honor of your country. Oh, thank you. Countess. In the absence of the princess, my niece, Countess Velasquez, will serve as your partner. Do you object to the arrangement? Object? It's the nicest arrangement I've had all day. Thank you. Shall we then? What he sees in Spain. His grace is beginning to. Did you see that? He tapped me on the shoulder. A little harmless flirtation, and my Alfredo will get that ambassadorship. Alfredo? What about my husband? What about mine? Or mine? I must talk to you alone. Shall we say 11? Why not? Later at your place, say 11.30. 11.30? Oh, that's fine. that's fine. I must have a word with you about 11.45. Yeah, 11.45? Oh, just a minute. What time did you want? 11.30. 11.45. I've checked. Your grace, I... Midnight. I think you better have a talk with the Duke. Why all this pampering? I say finish him. Slit his throat tonight while he sleeps. Not so fast, my young friend. You forget you deal with Deshaun, a madman with a sword, a hot-headed, tempestuous fool. Besides, my friends, Don Francisco has plans for the banquet. I don't think the good Duke will survive the second course. What do you mean? 
stupid, fawning women. They'll spoil everything. All right, my dear? You promised to be of help. Go out there, dance with him, and make sure he attends the banquet tonight. Yes, Jim. I might squeeze you in between the Marquisa and the Duchess. Hmm? I may have to take an apartment. Well, look who's here and dancing at the Duke's reception. What did you get in court? How'd you get those clothes? And don't tell me. Oh, Care, I must speak to you alone. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all booked up. Listen closely. You've got to leave Spain tonight. What's the matter? You're jealous? You're in danger. This kind of danger I like. Whatever you do, don't go to that banquet tonight. Oh, don't be silly. It's in my honor. Oh, Beaucaire, listen to me. Run along, girl. You're beginning to bore me. You're great. I'm sorry. I'm all me. filled up. Leave your name and address. I'll give you the first cancellation. Next. What a racket. Well? He'll be there. Good. <laughs> Oh, yes, so I said to King Louis, I said, Lou, I always called him Lou. I said, that's a funny mustache you've got. It makes me laugh. And the king said, it tickles the queen, too. <laughs> Do you get it? It tickles the queen, too. <laughs> it tickles the... A little too fast for her. <laughs> oh. Majesty, may I have the honor of proposing the first toast of the evening? Certainly, General. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you please. To the beloved sovereigns of our two great... Oh, uh, just one moment, please. Lucky. His grace has no wine. I haven't? Oh, I... I thought it was white wine. Must be a hole in the glass. If you please, Your Grace. Oh, no, no, I'm dancing come, come. and I have to drive. Come, come, Your Grace. Really? Well, I'll... <clears throat> I'll force it. 
to the beloved sovereigns of our two great nations, Philip of Spain and Louis of France. May their wisdom endure and peace between us be everlasting. What's the matter, Your Grace? Oh, some... Not uh, toasting your king? I... Well, some wines don't agree with me. I get a strawberry rash and break out in grapes. I... This wine is not made from strawberries. Yeah, drink it. Oh, drink it. Oh, no strawberries? Well, yeah, it probably needs a little sweetening. I'll just get a little sugar here. Oh, always helps. Now, we'll... It's too sweet. Just whip it up a little. <laughs> Quicksilver. <laughs> now we... Ah, that's better. Now we... Toasting now. Something wrong, my boy? Yeah, I just remembered. I have a horse outside. I'm double parked. It's been fun. I'll... Mimi, you were right. I've been a fool. And so have I, Beau Care. Oh, Mimi. Say, we've got to get out of here, out of the palace. Out of Spain. See, he doesn't leave the palace. Oh. All right, come on. We'll never make it together. You go on alone. What, leave you behind? Never. Oh, but you must. I said never. But they'll cut you to pieces. I'll send for you. see you again, so you've got to do me a favor. Anything, Bo Care. I want you to thank your folks. My folks? For making you the way you are, the way you walk, and the way you talk, and the way you make me churn inside. Honest, honey, every time I look at you, I'm buttermilk up to here. Oh, that's sweet, Bo Care. That first time I kissed you behind the onion sacks, every little onion seemed to say to every other little onion, I love you. I sensed it, too. Oh, I know I'm not good enough for you. I'm just a coward with water in my blood, but... When I'm near you, it starts to boil and bubble, and every little bubble starts to bubble. Every little bubbles, bubble, bubbles. Honest, Mimi, I'm fizzing all over with love for you. I know it, darling. I fizzed a little myself. Up there, up there! Quickly, for your life! Oh, farewell, darling. Go, go. Don't look back. I tell you, my dear, that Deshaun is incorrigible. What's the meaning of this? Guards! Guards! Take this man to his room and see that he doesn't leave it. I can slip away without danger to either of us. Danger? Why, well, who's going to worry about a lackey and please, a maid? Please, tonight. Oh, please, tonight. my way. Tomorrow it is. Oh, go quickly now before they discover you. Till tomorrow. Take him to the dungeon. Maria, I warned you. Go to your room immediately. Who are you? I understand this is the second time you molested the princess. Princess? Princess? You mean she's Maria, princess of Spain? This assumed innocence will do little to save your neck. <laughs> I want the truth. <laughs> I assure you, His Majesty won't consider this a laughing matter. He will when he finds out who I am. Take me to the king at once. Who are you? I'm the Duke de Chand. Oh. This ring on my finger will identify me.
So it does. Come on, unfasten these. Then uh, who's that clown upstairs? Him? Oh, that's Beaucaire, my father. And to think I almost let him marry my princess. <laughs> Come on, take me out of this, will you? Undo them, please. <laughs> well, 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 well. Now, wouldn't it be embarrassing if his grace were to be detained down here, a prisoner, while tomorrow <laughs> a barber marries the princess of Spain? Look, this has gone far enough. Our poor king would be greatly upset. What? I demand you let me out of here. Certainly, Your Grace, certainly, right after the war. The wedding will proceed as per schedule. Spain, miserable road, hostile country. You had to come to the wedding. Now, now, Louis. I thought it a nice, friendly gesture. Besides, you know how I am about weddings. Do you remember ours, Louis? Our wedding? Mm -hmm. Ours? Of course I do. Forty years ago, ah, uh, my dear, you were the most beautiful, the most radiant woman in all France. Oh, Louis. Yes, my dear, you were. But when I look at you today, forty years, it's a long time. Yeah. Bells. They told the hour of marriage. Well, I was hoping this place was on fire. It isn't, is it? It's treason, I tell you. Treason. Treason or not, what happens if the Duke doesn't show? How dare you? How dare you suggest such treachery? Above all else, the Duke de Chalon is a man of honor. And I tell you now, if he doesn't appear, honor is dead. Virtue is dead. Gallantry is dead. And with us, that makes a five cent. Thank heaven, maybe it's he. Maybe it's him. It ain't he, it's him. What's this, Your Grace? Not dressed? With all the guests assembled for the ceremony? Well, there's been a slight delay. A member of our party has not yet arrived. An important member? Well, there won't be a wedding without him. Oh. His Grace means the wedding won't be the same without oh, him. Oh, <laughs> I see. I thought perhaps that the delay was occasioned by that peculiar incident this morning. Oh, no. We... What incident? Oh, nothing, nothing at all. Just some poor scoundrel dressed as a lackey, shouting to high heaven that he was the Duc de Chambre. Duc de Chambre? Oh, that's impossible. I've been here all the time. Of course. Oh, poor uh, devil. Yeah. What did you do to him? Oh, uh, incidentally, he had your ring. Yeah. Well, where is he? I mean... Obviously stolen from your grave. What did you do with him? What do you suppose we would do with a lackey caught impersonating royalty? I asked you first. We stand him up against the wall, the men raise their rifles, and bing. Bing? What a horrible thought. Well, I have one or two things I must attend to if I don't see you again uh, until later. Good luck, old chap. Yeah, and I have a few things. I'll just be... Not up. nervous, Your Grace. Oh, no, no, it's just nothing. You I... won't need this. No, I've already done my nails. Well, let's get uh, along. How about getting dressed first? Oh, is it going to be formal? Violet? Allow me, Your Grace. Yes, sir. Your Grace. Is this the formal job? Yes, sir. Not so tight. Who is it? The King and Queen of France. He's in France. Your Majesties will proceed to the throne room. I'll inform King Philip of your arrival. Thank you. Also notify the Duke de Chon. It shall be done, Your Majesty. I must see the Duke. Sorry, he's busy with the general. Oh. General, one moment. The King and Queen of France have arrived for the wedding. Louis? Yeah? Well, what a stroke of luck. Now, uh, your men know what to do? The moment the barber marries Maria, they produce Deschamps. Excellent. General. Yes? What do you mean, produce Deschamps? Isn't you're he... You're very clever, my dear, aren't you? I don't know what your little game is, but it's over. We have the real Deschamps in chains. 
Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> This is a wonderful surprise, Louis. And I must admit, you're a brave man. Thank you very much. I... Brave man? Spain is an armed camp, Louis. 50,000 men waiting to march. And I admit, quite frankly, that I've been sorely tempted to give the order. What do you mean? The Duke de Chand. De Chand? Yes, I... Uh, of course, I... I realize he's a... He's a splendid swordsman and all that. But tell me. Are all your young noblemen so, so peculiar? But Philip, I swear I don't understand. Deshaun is one of our most charming, most. His Highness, the Duke Deshaun. Well, fellas, let's not rush into this thing after all. I'm a little warm. I better go to the front door and get some. If it pleases your grace. Most debonair. Your Majesty. Oh, thank heaven you've arrived in time. Deshaun, my boy. Delighted to see you. Oh, but I... Louis, what aren't is Aren't you going to say hello to the Duke, my dear? What? what? Say hello to the Duke. Oh? <laughs> but, uh... Oh, my dear boy. Oh, let's not overdo this. I mean, uh, you remember me? I used to never look better on your life, my boy. No. Never, never. And if I'm lucky, I might even live to be 30. <laughs> We're not going through with this, are we? I mean, I... Uh, that is the Duke. I... <laughs> Feeling nervous, are we? But I think of all the times he scoffed at other people's marriage. Yeah, but please, don't you think... <laughs> but then he jests at scars that never felt a wound. How true. <laughs> Who said that? Shakespeare. Oh, well, then let, let him marry her, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what wit? <laughs> you don't suppose he's really the Duke? Well, I certainly intend to find out. Are you quite ready to start the ceremony? This is, of course, by all means. We mustn't keep the lovebirds apart oh. another instant. Is that the man I'm going to marry? Don't you think that's carrying patriotism a little too far? Come. Oh, but sire, please, I can't marry her. You've got to. It's all our next. But I love Mimi. Shut up. Mimi? Who's Mimi? You remember Mimi, Pompadour? Oh, yes, of course. Mimi! Louis. Shut up. Shh. Tell me, Your Majesty, is he really a good barber? Of course he is. Best I ever had. Haven't had a good shave since he... Good. Well, I can hone a razor and just... Thank you, Your Majesty. Our carriage is outside. We'll wait two minutes. If you can't make it, France will always be grateful. Good luck. But Your Majesty, shall we proceed, Your Grace? No, we won't. I've got a mind of my own, and I say... Oh, when you put it that way. All right, bring him out. Where are you taking me? Has the wedding started yet? I'm to be your bride, Your Grace. You are? Oh, that's too bad. Till death do us part. They're working on that. Join hands. Have you the ring? The ring. Oh, I love... Naturally. Join hands. 
The purpose of this assembly here on this most solemn occasion and in the presence of their most... Oh, now, look at the wedding. ...is to join together in holy wedlock His Excellency... Deshaun's escaped. ...the blood, the Duke de Shawn. Wait! Hold! Guards! Stop the King and Queen of France! General Francisco, what is the meaning of this outrageous behavior? I accuse Louis of France of deliberately trying to palm off on the Princess of Spain, not a prince of the blood, not the Duc de Chambre, but Monsieur Beaucaire, a common French barber. Don't call me common. Apostles, the man lies. Yes. You bet he does. Just for that, I'm not going to marry anybody. Nothing personal. Come on, King. We're stuck. This man is Monsieur Bouquet, a common barber. Oh. Are you going to accept that? Well, a man's entitled to an opinion. Slap him back. Yeah. Well, oh. Oh. you're lucky I haven't got a sword. Hmm. You keep out of this. General Francisco, I have long been aware of your plots against the peace of our country. Yes. But this time you have gone too far. Deshand? You will be doing Spain a great honor if you will put an end to this scoundrel with a Spanish sword. Oh, but, sire, are you sure you want to do this? I... After all, it's awfully one-sided. Nonsense. Oh, God, parry, thrust, and his two dozen roses to the widow. Yeah, but the choice long stem ones, they're out of season. Let's wait till spring. Huh? Oh, God! Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, say. Oh. 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 What are we going to do? 
do? We can't stay here. We can't go back to France. Don't worry, we'll find a place. There must be some country where you can die of old age. Hurry up! You're next, Mr. Washington. Good morning, Beaucaire. Good morning, sir. The usual? If you please. Well, you might have Mrs. Beaucaire manicure my nails. Yes, I'm Mimi. How are you today, Mr. Washington? Splendid, thank you. My, you have been neglecting them, haven't you? I'm afraid I have. Something special going on today, Mr. Washington? Well, Jefferson and the boys are cooking up some sort of a declaration or something. I thought I might go and watch them sign it. Oh, by the way, you better have these boots touched up a bit. Yes, a boy. Shine boy. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Thank you, sir. This could only happen in America. Look what happened on the way over. 